Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So we are back in Northern Wisconsin. We are really far north, almost by Michigan's UP. And we're actually here to hopefully find some elk. Now, Wisconsin isn't known for being a elk hotbed and being able to see a bunch of them, but there is a herd up here and the DNR is actually trying to have the population grow and have elk native to Wisconsin again. In a perfect world, we'd be in Colorado taking photos of these elk. There's like 300,000 elk in Colorado, and I believe in all of Wisconsin, there's maybe 500. So it might be a little bit of an uphill battle, but I just don't have the time to drive all the way to Colorado and all the way back. For those of you who don't know, my full-time job is a wedding photographer with my wife, and we just don't have the time right now. It's our busy season, and I just had enough time to drive six hours north, spend a few days up here, hopefully finding some elk, and then heading home before our next wedding. Now, luckily we did find some elk this morning. It was really early in the morning, probably about 30 minutes before sunrise. Unfortunately, they were by a gas station, so I really didn't want to take out my big camera and take any photos of that. But hopefully we'll be able to find some more either tonight or a little bit later. Now the weather is absolutely gorgeous. We're getting close to about mid-September right now. And up here, it was about 48 degrees when we woke up. Right now, it's about 55 degrees. It's gorgeous. It was really foggy this morning. It's supposed to be cloudy and foggy all day today and then possibly rain tomorrow. But for right now, we found this awesome camp spot. Um, we're not probably not going to sleep here, but we will spend most of the day here. Now, elk are a little frustrating because especially around here, they're only active really early in the morning, like maybe a half hour to an hour after sunrise and then really late. So maybe an hour to a half hour before sunset. So during the day, they just go into the woods and they hunker down and there's really no way to find them. I also don't want to be walking through the woods and bothering them. This herd is really fragile and I don't want to affect any of their habits or their mating rituals or anything like that because Wisconsin is trying really hard to bring the population up. I really want to be respectful of their space. I don't want to be bothering them or anything like that. Ideally, I would love to see them, them not see me, get in camouflage and go find them. And we're just gonna hang out, eat some food, relax a little bit. Um, Lindsay's gonna work a little and I'm probably gonna take a nap. But I'll see you guys a little bit later.
Unfortunately, we didn't find any elk today, so we hung out through the middle of the day, um, did some work, Lindsay took a nap, I took a nap, and it was pretty amazing. And then the last two hours, we drove around, traveled around, trying to find elk. So I actually flew the drone a little bit. I think it's a really great tool to try and scout out and see if I can't see the herd from the sky. It's way easier to see everything from like bird's eye view than it is driving through the forest. Now, before everyone jumps down my throat, I do want to say a few things. I am a UAG pilot per 107 in the FAA. A lot of people kind of got on my case a little bit in Yellowstone. I did not fly my drone in Yellowstone. I flew it outside where I'm allowed to. Here, I'm allowed to fly it. I fly it at a pretty high altitude. That way, the sound doesn't affect any animals or anything like that. So you can probably tell by the title of the video, but I didn't find any wildlife and this is way more camping related, which honestly isn't the end of the world. This is what wildlife photography is. You know, it's not like Yellowstone or South Dakota where I, there's just plentiful animals everywhere. This is what the majority is. Some days you see nothing, some days you do. But for now, we're just gonna hang out inside the camper. We're gonna eat some dinner. I am going to have my friends text me what's going on on the football game because I don't have good enough service to watch it. And we're just gonna relax and kind of enjoy nature. We found this really awesome camp spot. It has this big clearing. It would be a really perfect place to watch elk in the morning because it is fully clear and it'd be amazing. But we will see and I will see you guys tomorrow.